Hello, this is here, and as you can probably tell by the fact that this video exists, I've got um, Adobe working again. Uh, the, this entire PC has been reset, and I also now have a uh, different monitor, which is a 1080p monitor. It's down to 16:9 ratio and straight 1080p, so I don't even need to do any scaling. Um, so I've now um, got a, quite a bright monitor, but it's really good quality, and everything's so vibrant and nice. Uh, I also have a new version of Eclipse and all that, but that's beside the point. Uh, that's uh, irrelevant and all that. Um, also something else, uh, well no, I'm going to say what I was just about to say there in its own separate video. Um, but yeah, uh, today I'm back with another Micro Four 12.9 morning tutorial and we are going to be continuing with our cool laptop GUI thing, go away. Um, uh, what are we going to do today? Today we're going to look at GUI button, the, um, the GUI button, the class from the GUI thing in Minecraft. It's... Like sliders, buttons, um, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, let's let's get right into this. Um, well, let's get right into this. Um, right, so, uh, so for if, I'm just gonna show you. If I go GUI, oh, let me use GUI button. See here, you go, GUI button. Uh, how how I, I've actually forgotten how the GUI button class works. Um, right, hold on. If we just quickly go to here. Um, it's got the button list, yeah? Yep. Yep. Uh, and then you do that, yes. And, yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I got it. Uh, in the init GUI, we want, uh, GUI button, button, um, yep. Uh, yeah, GUI button, uh, let's just make a button first, sure. GUI button, button equals new, GUI button, Button ID is going to be zero. Uh, X is just going to be a eight, like let's say like twenty, twenty ten. Uh, and button text, let's just write. Oh jeez. Um, button. Um, and then we can just go to here and go button dot. And then do do loads of stuff here. You can do like center alignment. No, that. Yes, yeah, center alignment, bottom alignment, you could, all these are pretty self-explanatory, change the height and width, um, yeah, that's the width, is there anything else you can do? No, there's not, okay, well, at least nothing that's really relevant, um, but yeah, you can do, like, so, like, GUI button, uh, actually, let's just go to the GUI button class here, um, and here we've got the GUI button thing, just it's it's just a simple class that like this is just draws the button. Um, also, yeah. So if I go to here, button dot mouse. Wait, no, uh, I've done this wrong. <laughs> um, GUI button button private GUI button button, and then button equal to GUI button. That's why I couldn't actually see the stuff here. There we go, there we go. Yeah, I thought there was meant to be more here, but I wasn't sure. Uh, so then, yeah, we've got the draw string, and all this. Draw text, metal rec, and all, all this kind of stuff. And mouse pressed and mouse released, which we're going to look at in a moment. Uh, set width, two string, what else can we do? Icons. Um, it's icons. <laughs> it's icons. Uh, no, uh, actually, why why is there an icon? What is, it? What is that for? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, then just all of this, uh, display string, so that just like gets the string that it's showing, so in this case it would be button, uh, enabled, uh, turns, you could make it to show or not show, oh wait no, that can enable or disable it, um, and this, this shows and hides it, um, and then button ID, what's that for, um, <laughs> change the X and Y position, but yeah. Okay, so first now what we want to do in here is actually add this to the button list. So button list dot add and then just button and then and then use the oh I don't I don't want that. Um we want the action performed thing. Uh so action formed and we can use this to check the clicking. Okay, I just did this and OBS didn't record it for some reason because it's a piece of trash. Um but once you've added this to the button list and stuff, you Go to your but your action perform. You should go you should, yeah. Just type if button equals if button equal equal this dot button. 
sys.out dot print layer, or you can just write sys out and then uh, control space it, uh, and then just put like some like button has been pressed, or you can put whatever you want in there. Um, and what this is is this is the button that's being pressed, uh, so it gets the button that the mouse is clicking, and if that is equal to our button in here, then we're gonna print this to here. Uh, so then if we, I've also made a mistake here that I'm just going to quickly fix. I just spent ages trying to work out why something wasn't um, updating as I was sitting there and then realised I wasn't running in debug, uh, debug mode. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly run that in debug mode this time to find the problem. Okay, so in order to fix the problem with it um, rendering the button below, I still don't know why this is going yellow. Um, I'll look into that at some point. Um, but yeah, in order to fix the problem with it being below the thing, uh, you just need to move the draw default background to the very top of this so that it does it before it does anything else because um, in the draw screen that's when it draws the uh, buttons and stuff and we had the draw default background underneath so it was drawing the screen and the buttons before it drew anything else um, we're also just going to quickly uh, go to here uh, so it's width then height right yeah uh, make sure that that's small enough this, I'm pretty sure this is running in debug mode or maybe the latest version of Clips doesn't work. Okay, so you can resize this and reposition it all um, to get the button to be in the correct place. Okay, next we're going to add a private GUI. Uh, what should we do next? Um, there are lots of different things that you can do with the GUI button things, by the way. Um, wait, there's already a button for X. Oh no, button EXT. Um, don't need those. Um... There's a, you can add your own language pattern. <laughs> so I'm just like noticing all of these um, GUI things. Yep. Uh, so yeah, you can do like a GUI slider here. Uh, let's do a GUI slider actually, yeah. Private GUI slider, slider. Um, and then slider equals new GUI slider. Um, G uh, MC dot get G no get Minecraft O oh, dot G G U I uh I don't know how to get this. Okay, so I've just set up a really simple G U I slider thing here. Uh, it would probably be better to do the format helper and G U I responder in separate classes so that you can reuse them and stuff. Um, but I've just done it here because I don't really need to put anything in them, so I've just shoved them here. Uh, and the same with the format helper. Um, but yeah, the usual one, uh, if we hover here, it should tell me. No, it won't. Um, so we've got x, y, the x size, the name of the slider, the minimum value, the maximum value, the default value, and format helper and GUI responder. Um, and then again, we want to go button list dot add. Oops dot add slider uh, and then that will do all its stuff when the slider is slided slid slided I don't know um, and then what else can we do GUI uh, the sliders uh, I'm just gonna quickly check what else we can do okay what we're gonna do next is a GUI checkbox so GUI checkbox checkbox uh, and then we're just gonna go here and checkbox equals new GUI checkbox. Uh, ID, we just put as one. Xpos, we can put, let's say, like, uh, I don't know actually, uh, it's like 70 uh, short, and then like 50. Actually, no, we can go like 10 and 50. 10 and 50. Display string, cheese. Uh, so then is that going to be, is checked, we can set to false, um, and then button list dot add checkbox, uh, and then I think there's like a GUI, ooh, oops, uh, GUI, um, G GUI, is there a GUI text? Yeah, there's like text fields. Um, but let's just say, like, uh, let's just give, this is going to be the last one that I do an example of. If there is anything else I haven't done, uh, they're kind of self-explanatory. Like, if, if you know how to do these, um, 
you 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 can definitely figure it out how to do any other ones if there are any other ones. Um, oh, I wrote tet field rather than text field. Uh, component ID two font renderer. Uh, we go mc dot get Minecraft dot get font get font renderer obj. What? No, it's just font renderer obj. Okay. So x let's say like uh sixty y sixty part five width. What's what the heck is that? Uh, I don't know. Is that just width and height? I think it is. Uh, 20 and 20. Um, and then button list dot add. Uh, and then the oh wait text fields. Do they count as GUI button? No, they don't. Okay. So actually, that's not part of it. So. We're not going to go over that today. So that is it for today. Uh, we are just going to check that and then that will be it. Okay, we can now see in game that we have our slider here. Um, it's all rendering below that actually. Uh, so actually we want this to render last. Yeah, we actually want this to render last. Um, so that that goes on top. So if you close and reopen your game, that will render on top. But yeah, you have a slider here uh, with the word for what the slider is named here. You've got your button here, and you've got your checkbox here. Uh, you can use like checks to like get the um, values of these. So like say ch uh, checkbox checkbox dot is select is checked. Um, uh, slider dot uh, I think it's like get dot percentage now what what's it called um there's something in here uh you can look through and find that but it should be something to do with like the um or maybe you do that in the actual like gy responder thing yeah i think you do that up here um so that's something else that i'm not going to go over now because i'm not entirely sure of it myself because uh, I've never actually used GUI sliders before. Um, yeah, that is it for today. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. So, bye guys, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.